Hi there, I'm Sean Woolley. I'm the Managing Director of Cloud9 Prestige. With me, I'm delighted to say I have Miguel Manzanares from Manzanares Abogados, one of the leading law firms here in Marbella on the Costa del Sol. Miguel has very kindly agreed to speak to us today about the subject of golden visas, which is something some of you may or may not have heard of. Um, Miguel, can I firstly ask you, what is a golden visa? Well, the, the golden visa has been, has been a name in which has been internationally known uh, this type of residency. In fact, it's not a visa, it's residency. Okay. Uh, the, the correct way of, of translating this type of residency will be residency for investors because you are required to uh, do uh, specific investments in Spain uh, in order to qualify to get this type of residency. So it's not it's not a visa, but residency. And uh, in, in case that you are thinking about uh, properties, uh, you, can, uh, you can get this residency with an acquisition of uh, 500,000 euros. Okay. Uh, those 500,000 euros have to be not in one property. You can divide this in, in several properties. They don't have to be residential properties. You can okay. also buy an industrial, a commercial property. It could be, it could be a storage. It could be a garage. Right. Uh, so, by well, lots of garages. Uh, uh, yeah, par <laughs> many parking. Maybe, but, but, but you know, some. I have a client of mine that bought a big parking space yeah. that with with several to, to rent out. But okay. so, in, in in the end, uh, investing in in real estate exceeding five hundred thousand euros. Is, is, the, is the key point. That That's the qualification. Mm, yeah. And um, is that, that 500,000 euros the, the non-mortgaged amount? So you, you can't buy something for 500,000 euros and then get a mortgage for 250,000 on it. It has to be a, a cash investment? Correct. It's got to be investment. Okay. Because in the end, if you buy a property of 700,000 euros, but you have from the bank 350 and from your own cash 350, mm -hmm. your investment is considered 350. Okay. Because this is what you have invested in Spain, right? Okay. So therefore, uh, it's got to be that money that has been uh, that non-mortgage uh, uh, amount. You're okay. right. And if somebody were to buy a property at five hundred thousand, but it wasn't ready for a couple of years, again, does it have to go to completion? It has to be completed property, and you've paid all your money. Yes, correct. Because the 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 application of this golden visa re residency is uh, based on a certificate that is produced by the land registry. Okay. We, we know that if you buy a property of plan, you, can, you only go to the signing of title deeds in the very end. When you have your title deeds, when you have uh, the, the possibility of doing registration at the land registry. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we can only apply this once the property is complete. That makes sense, that's, that's fine. And I know in your vast experience here, how long have you been here in Marbella now in business? Yeah, for 22 years. 22 years, uh, yeah. okay, my God. And you deal with, an array of nationalities, I know. You have clients from all over the world. Does this appeal to any one type of client or any one nationality of client, or is it for everybody to, to enjoy? It's, it's for everybody. Uh, of course, in Marbella has that diversity of nationalities that are neighbors, owners, and, uh, and therefore uh, that is really uh, richness of our society in Marbella. Mm -hmm. uh, the clients that are uh, from, from, from Middle East, uh, from uh, GCC countries, Kuwait, uh, Qatar, uh, the also from from uh, from Asia uh, like uh, yeah, we had some Chinese clients. I think that the Chinese, yeah. uh, Pakistan, Russian as well. Yeah. So, uh, but we also have uh, uh, Americans, uh, Canadians, okay. and uh, some African clients are uh, applying the the golden visa. So, it's very diverse. So uh, it's any non EU countries at the moment. Correct. Correct. Okay. Maybe, maybe Britain one day. <laughs> we'll wait and see. Okay, so they, they buy a property, they spend their 500,000 euros, or they buy several properties, but they invest 500,000 euros minimum. So they are then entitled to this, this golden visa or, or residency. What does that exactly mean for them and who benefits from it? Is it just the person on the, on the title deed to the property or is it their family? How, how does that work? Well, the, uh, the benefit is for the owner of, uh, of the property, for, for that very person that has invested in Spain more than 500,000 euros, but he, uh, he, can, he can really put under the same application the family. 
And what's it, what is it considered a family for the Foreign Affairs uh, Ministry? Is spouse and children as long as they are dependent. Okay. This is a very important change because if your if your uh, boy is 19 and he is obviously adult, but he is still uh, depending on you, he lives at home, he's still at the university, he doesn't have any economic means to support himself independently, and he doesn't have any other address, therefore he is considered still in the same family. Okay. So therefore, uh, in that uh, example, uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, parent that, that bought the property automatically qualifies to spouse and children as long as they are depending on their parents. Okay, but as soon as they become financially independent, they would then have to yeah, do the, it themselves. Exactly. Yeah. The, okay. the, the residency will not be renewed. Okay. And in terms of residency, what exactly does that mean? Are they free to come and go? Yeah, the uh, uh, the residency is like uh, they're free to uh, to come and go every time that they like. In fact, uh, they could uh, live in Spain 365 uh, days in the year. And of course, Spain, as well as any other country of the Schengen territory. Right. So this is important. Okay, yeah. they, they have the uh, residency in Spain. And consequently, once they are residents in one country of European Union with the Schengen Convention, yeah. uh, uh, therefore, they are free to travel. And they're free to stay 365 days a year and very important is that they are not obliged to stay 183 days in the year to renew, to extend their right. residency. Okay. Because this is really what is regulated in the very most of the countries in respect of residency. If you want to have residency, you've got to stay longer than six months in this country. Yes. Otherwise, don't apply and residency. Use your typical visas for traveling in and, on and out okay. uh, that period. So that's the rationale behind residency. The residency uh, in every country is uh, granted and then you have the obligation of demonstrating mm -hmm. that you stay longer than 183 days in the year. Okay. Otherwise, it will not be renewed. With the golden visa, with this type of residency, that is not the case. So you are free to stay one day if you like, at least one day. You got to visit Spain one day in the year, right? Okay. And um, and stay in Spain if you want the full year with uh, 365 uh, days. So that is very important because some people that they are willing to get residency, they don't have yet the possibility of staying in Spain longer than six months mm -hmm. because they have business commitments, because they have family yeah. commitments, yeah. and they are, they, they're having, in the end, ties with their own countries that make it impossible to be longer than six months' time. And therefore, that residency is not good for them because at the point of renewing, they will be denied. Uh, the golden visa is, is very appropriate for those uh, uh, that cannot be six months time, but they would love to be here for consecutive months in the mm. year. Mm. Or maybe this year I stay seven months and next year I can only uh, travel one month. It's a much more flexible system. So that yeah. is one of the most important things of the Golden Visa, okay. flexibility. That gives total flexibility to each one of the individuals willing to be resident, mm -hmm. but not really 100% sure about if I can commit every single year exactly. to be longer than six months. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's really one of the, the most important uh, advantages of this golden visa that makes this, uh, uh, this way so attractive. And um, the second one, I will say, uh, is the, the taxes, because the golden visa doesn't really oblige to those residents to be tax residents in Spain. Okay. And, uh, and this is very important because many of our clients are coming from countries that the tax regime is lower than mm -hmm. Spain is. Yeah. And uh, so I can say Kuwait, Qatar, uh, Emirates, mm -hmm. uh, even some countries of Asia. Mm -hmm. The taxes that those countries have are very much lower than Spanish taxes. Yeah. And they have residency with all the rights of a resident, mm -hmm. but they are not having the obligation of becoming tax residents in Spain. Very important. Yeah. Very good. And do the benefits of the golden visa, do they apply for as long as you own the property or do you have to renew every few years? Are there any laws yeah. about that? 
Yeah, you got to renew uh, every, normally it's every three years, uh, right? And then uh, in three years' time, you don't have to keep that very property that you bought. You like that property and you are not obliged to stay with that very property all the way up to renewing every okay. three years. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can sell it and you can buy something else or you can buy several other properties. The thing is, you know that you have uh, an appointment in three years' time. Yeah. And at that appointment, you've got to show a certificate from the land registry that still confirms that you still keep property, all properties in Spain, exceeding 500,000 euros of investment. Okay. Okay. If that is the case, you renew the golden visa for three years' time. And it's important that if you, in the end, are not that example of people that cannot really commit to stay uh, six months or so, but you finally are really resident, effectively resident mm -hmm. in Spain. If you've been effectively resident for five years, mm -hmm. you can apply and you will get the permanent residency. And the permanent residency is a lifetime resi residence card in which you don't have to renew it anymore. You don't have to keep the properties anymore. You are resident for your life. And, uh, but this is really happening in case that using that vehicle of uh, golden visa, you've been effectively resident in yeah. Spain for longer than uh, five years. And effectively resident is that within those five years, you can travel out of Spain. No problem, but no more than 10 months. Okay. So an average of two months per year out of Spain. That's not a problem. That's still pretty flexible, yeah? Yes. Okay. That is fascinating. Um, thank you so much for your insight and sharing your, your experience and knowledge on that subject. I'm sure it's been very useful for our viewers at home. And if you'd like to consult with Miguel further on this subject, if you have any questions and you'd, uh, you'd like them answered, please feel free to contact Miguel. His email address is miguel at manzanaresinternational.com and the website will be appearing at the, the bottom of this video so that you can um, go and check that out. There's lots of information on the website, including um, lots of information about you and your team. So yeah, please feel free to get in touch with Miguel if he can, uh, if he can help. If you want to speak to us, uh, you can email me at sean, S-E-A-N, at cloud9prestige.com or simply go to our website, cloud9prestige.com. Again, the address is going to appear at the bottom of this, uh, this video. And also, if you want to have a look at any other of our videos, you can log on to our YouTube um, page. You simply go onto YouTube and search for Cloud9 Spain. That's the, the word 9, N-I-N-E, as opposed to the number. And you'll find everything we've got there. Hope you've enjoyed it.